Hi, I'm Richard Lovett. I'm a physician at the Foley Cancer Center at Rowland Regional Medical Center. I was a nuclear medicine technician and I enjoyed working with patients. I decided to become a physician and then I had a radiology background. I enjoyed working with patients, so to me, getting into radiation therapy was just the natural uh, transition point into medicine. The person who was the biggest influence on me educationally was my junior high school science teacher who uh, mentored me and started me doing uh, research on, actually I did a research project on radiation in the early color television sets and went to a national science fair with it. So that was my first little foray into the sciences. Getting to know patients during their treatment in radiation therapy, often patients are with us for uh, anywhere from six weeks to eight weeks if they receive curative treatment and you really get to know the patient and you get to know the family and you get to know uh, you know a lot about them personally. Uh, in this town we have a state-of-the-art linear accelerator uh, you know, we put on a capital campaign and raised uh, $1.5 million to buy it. Uh, the linear accelerator actually costs about $5.7 million for the machine and all the computers that make it work. And to have that kind of equipment here in a community hospital is amazing. So whatever our patient needs, we can find it for them. A lot of times patients will be embarrassed to ask you, can I have a second opinion? And certainly they can. You know, usually they go off and they get the same opinion or a variation on it. They come back and feel much more comfortable about you know, our recommendations. So, you know, we often will get on the phone to somebody at a, you know, a Sloan Kettering and, you know, talk to them about the patient. They'll often fit the patient in for us you know, get back to us with their recommendations and often it's something we can do right here. So, uh, you know, we have good collaboration with our colleagues here. We also have great resources outside the institution so that, you know, we can take care of everybody as well as we can. I care for patients in a compassionate and caring manner. Um, and I really try my best to do that. And, you know, you realize that some days patients don't have the best of days and some days I don't have the best of days, but I really try, you know, I realize that these people that I'm taking care of really have significant problems and, you know, that I want to be the best I can for them. So, you know, it, it, I would say that that is the most important thing to always care for the patients in as compassionate and caring a manner as you can.